Hi, and welcome back to part two of BehindTheTone.com, uh, How to Bias an Amp. Uh, again, I want to say as a disclaimer that uh, tube amps carry high, very high voltage and they're very dangerous. Even when they're unplugged up in the capacitors, they store high voltage and it can kill you. So unless you know what you're doing, um, please... Uh, consult a professional technician, um, but we do have a, a, um, a page on our website under knowledge base on how to um, safely work on a tube amp, and you can refer to that for some safety instructions. All right, now uh, in part one we talked, we uh, checked the bias of a pair of a quad of six uh, EL34s. Uh, now we are we switched the amp to some 6L6s. I switched the switch to on uh, the Mesa to 6L6s. And according to our chart, we can see that a 6L6 runs safely at 30 to 37. So you can see here that we're running on one tube about 34 and the other tube at about 35. So it is pretty good. I didn't have to adjust it much. But uh, I wanted to show you here uh, how to adjust it. Now on uh, amps it's a different, uh, but usually around the power tube section and the power transformer section you'll find a uh, some kind of uh, adjustable trim pot where you'll be able to adjust it. Often they're, uh, they're blue and they're square with a little white hole in it. Uh, in my case, like I said, this was a modded amp so you can see that my trim pot is right in here uh, and it's just a little school, uh, a screw hole so if I put it in here you can see that as I turn it down the voltage goes down it's 32 as I turn it up the voltage is going up and we're getting a reading of close to our 37 which is the the peak and we'll leave that right at 36 and our other tube is at about 35.9, 36. So that's pretty good. The amp will run nice and hot and chunky, but at the same time, not too hot that the tubes will burn out too quick. Uh, different amps have different places where they uh, have your bias adjust. Uh, fender, some fender amps have it right on the other side. You don't even have to get inside the chassis, or they have it in back with a little. Uh, usually it is a, a, a we'll use it for a flathead screwdriver. So you can see there that uh, this is um, how we uh, adjust our bias. And um, you, now we will switch over to the other tubes and see what we're getting on those tubes. Okay, I turn the amp back over and I'm testing the other two tubes. And uh, you can see here on our uh, one tube we're getting a 34.2 again our safe zone is between 30 and 37 for a 6L6 and on our other tube we're getting a much lower reading of 33.7 36 37 but that's still a safe zone um, so basically our tubes are pretty well matched when you buy tubes you should you should buy the matched set or the matched quad depending on if you have a 50 watt amp or 100 watt amp and that would really help to keep them more uniform. Uh, at the factory, they select the tubes and they check them for the voltage ranges and they try to set, uh, match them up. So this one was a matched quad that I got of 6L6s and they're matched up pretty good. So this amp is good to go. I wanted to show you one more amp here to give you another uh, example of uh, a biasing setup. This is a Fender Twin and you can see here that uh, on this amp the bias switches are our bias pots are right on the back again it's a uh, screwdriver setup so you would just take a screwdriver just like the other one and adjust it from there but here they give you some bias probes where you don't even need a the the bias tester here you put your commons in and follow the directions in the manual but this just wanted to show you a little setup on a different amp. Well, that about winds it up. This amp is ready to roll. And uh, just wanted to say, remember again, that amps carry very high voltage and are very dangerous. And if you need any more information, please refer to the knowledge base 
on our BehindTheTone.com website for some articles on biasing amps and how to even drain the capacitors. I have an article on there how to drain the capacitors so if you ever need to work on a tube amp. Uh, thank you so much. If you have any questions, you can write to joe at BehindTheTone.com.